Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the importance of deadlift in your weekly workout routine, even if you've got a lower back issue, or I should say, especially if you've got a lower back issue. The deadlift. I personally think it's one of the most important exercises that everyone should be doing, whatever age. And people are often afraid of deadlift because they think, oh, I've got a bad back. I don't want to injure my back, so I want to avoid doing the deadlift because I think it's going to hurt my back. It's completely the wrong attitude, really. Where people injure their back doing a deadlift is when they've got poor technique and they're trying to use the wrong muscles for it. So first of all, I'm going to talk about how you do the deadlift and then why it's so important. So doing a deadlift properly. Now you are, there are various um, variations on this. So you can have straight bar deadlift, sumo deadlift, hex bar deadlift. But I'm gonna to say to talk about just a standard run of the mill deadlift. So a normal deadlift position, your start position to get down to the barbell, you need to make sure you're hinging from your hips here. So one of the most common areas you're gonna see in a deadlift is people hinging from their spine and curving forward into this position here. Okay, if you curve forward in this position here and you have the barbell here, you're gonna to need to lift up using all these muscles here to bring you back to standing. Where we wanna be is hinge forward from our pelvis, so here, and then bending our knees down to the barbell. So my start position, my back is really straight, I feel a stretch in my glutes and my hamstrings here, and I feel pressure through the floor. The next thing I want to make sure I do is I grip that bar nice and tight so that I feel an activation all the way up my arms and into my lax muscles here. This muscle's here down the side of your body and top of your back. Nice strong position from here. Now all my lower back is going to do when I'm lifting this barbell up is stay stable. Okay, imagine the arm of a crane. The arm of a crane is just a solid piece of metal and it's the motor that moves it around. It's the same here. Okay, the arm of the crane is my back and the motor is gonna be my glutes. So from here, tight grip, active position, so I feel my back is nice and active, neutral spine. I'm gonna drive through my heels, pull my legs away, and then back down the way I came. So again, driving through my heels. So the first movement as I'm coming up, my hips and my shoulders are gonna come up. I'm gonna rotate the bar around so you can see here. My hips and my shoulders are gonna come up at the same speed. When they get to there, I'm going to drive my hips forward. And the same on the way down. So, hips and shoulders come up at the same speed. Drive my hips forward here. Now, why is it so important everyone does a deadlift? Because most people are weak in their posterior chain. Posterior chain means everything that's behind you. Hamstrings, glutes, and your spinal erectors here. If you avoid training this posterior chain because you're afraid of getting injured, then what's going to happen? It's going to get weaker. And what's going to happen then? You're going to actually have to lift something up one day, whether it's lifting the doggy to the back of the car, lifting a suitcase, moving something heavy around the house. Those weak muscles are not going to be able to support the structures around it and you're going to get an injury. Now, it doesn't mean you've got a back injury, you should be going in deadlifting, whatever weight you like. You need to, first of all, get proper instruction as to how to do it properly because I have seen hundreds and hundreds of athletes and I'll tell you what, at least 75% have got poor deadlift technique. And it might even look good, but they're activating the wrong muscles, so they're actually pulling with the wrong muscles. You need to be think of the deadlift more as a pushing exercise with your legs than a pulling exercise with your back. So get some coaching to make sure your deadlifting is correct. Start light and focus on technique. If you have back injuries, then make sure you start really, really light or change the style of deadlift you can use. Sometimes you can use a hex bar deadlift, which is a bit easier on that lower back. Um, sumo deadlift, you can stand more upright as well, but your coach will be able to tell you which deadlift is correct for you. The next thing is progress steadily. Don't then you get a couple of weeks in, you think, oh, I can just pile on the weights because that's when an injury is going to happen. Make sure every rep you do is perfect. 
And finally, set yourself a target. I think for a normal person, your initial goal should be to deadlift your body weight, okay? For girls, maybe 80% of body weight is acceptable. I think if you can't deadlift your body weight, then you're gonna be weak in your posterior chain. For an advanced athlete, you should be looking at, for guys, double body weight, and for girls, 1.5 body weight. And when you, if you wanna be an elite athlete, looking at three times body weight, and for girls, two to 2.5 times body weight would be a great number to aim for. So the deadlift, a key exercise for making sure that your lower back is strong and resilient, and you need that with every other movement you're gonna do day to day. Thanks guys.